In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best defense for gun tight in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button below. It's completely free, and it just lets you know whenever we release new videos. If you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now, in this video, like I said, we are talking about how you can actually really put the clamps and make it very difficult for your opponent to run tight slots or tight offset or any of those compression based uh, formations. And those formations, honestly, this year, probably the best that they've ever been, I would say, not ever been, but they're really, really good this year. They're very difficult to defend. So we're gonna give you a defense in this video that can help you absolutely put it, at least slow it down, if not completely stop it altogether. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sharing with you a coverage scheme that I built for my 46 defensive guide. If you've not gotten the full version of the 46 defensive guide, this is just a preview video. If you wanna get the full version of the 46 defense, there is a link in the description where you can go get the full defensive guide. It actually shows you not only how to stop gun tight, but it shows you how to stop trips tied in, how to stop bunch, how to stop bunch tied in, how to stop U trips, as well as gun spread and all kinds of different offenses that you're going to see in weekend league. So if you want to learn how to shut down those offenses, also if you want to learn how to craft some of the best pressure in Madden 22, go ahead and head over and grab that defensive guide. Again, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. The link to go get it is in the description of this video. And what we're gonna do when we're, as far as defending gun tight, we're gonna put our flats on 30, our curl flats are gonna be on five, and then I like to put my hooks on default. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come out in a base aligned covered shell, just like this. And the first defense I want, or the, the main defense I wanna show you today, we're gonna put the cover four show two in our audibles. And then we're going to put the safety or the packages here. You see, I've got the safety nickelback package. This is going to put my, uh, give me some unique coverage adjustments from the 335 wide. So we're going to come out and cover four drop. We're going to be audibling into the cover four show two. And then we're going to have very simple adjustments. All we're going to do is we're going to press our coverage or pinch our defense, one of the two. And then we're going to put both corners on cloud flats. Really important. Both corners are going on cloud flats. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our, our left side linebacker, we're actually gonna put him in a vertical hook. And then on the left, on the right side, we're gonna put that defensive end into a three red hook. How you do that is by putting him in a bluff blitz. And that's it, that's the coverage. And as you'll see right here, if they try to run some of those uh, deep corner routes or deep crossing routes, you're gonna see they're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time. I'm gonna show you bench here. What you see is these corner routes will absolutely get taken away by the cloud flat in combination with that inside quarter zone. Now why those inside quarter zones are so effective is for what I'm about to show you in terms of what they can do against a crossing route and really how they defend the gun compression. Because if you think about the gun compression formation, they can't attack the deep vertical portion of the field on every side of the field. What I mean by that is their vertical threat is only so much. So if, obviously if you see the running back going vertical, that's one thing, but they can't, they, they have crossers and corners is like the hallmark of it and seam streaks, right? So if they, you have these quarter zones, they're gonna take away the seam streaks, but if you if they run like a streak to the square receiver, it's still a seam streak, right? Because he's in the slot, tight slots, tight offset. The, the receivers are all incompressed. Now if they motion out, let's say they motion out uh, for example, let me just show you something on offense. Like if they motion out, and I'm not sure if I can show it to you from this formation, I might be able to. Yeah, so if I take Funches and I motion him to the wide side of the field, well now there's a little bit of an option in which they can hit me deep. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that outside uh, or that linebacker down that side of the field and I'm just gonna man him up onto the circle receiver if they do the motion. If they don't do the motion, there's no reason for that. But if they do the motion, go ahead and take that away. Um, but as you can see, this is a really good defense. And again, let me just show you um, the crossing route. So I'm just going to show you a crossing route right here. So just watch this circle or this uh, X. You see he's going to cross. Now right there, he actually got underneath. But most crossing routes are going to run right into those 30-yard cloud flats. And you're going to be able to take that away. Now I wanted to give you kind of a part two uh, to this defense, and really it's the same concept. It's just a little bit safer, 
Um, it's just a little bit safer. You don't get as good underneath coverage, but it's still very safe coverage. So we're going to now audible um, back over to that cover four show two. The only difference is we're going to take that slot corner and we're going to put him into a middle third. So we still put the curl flats or the cloud flats out there. We're going to put both linebackers on purple zones, just like this right here. And we're going to put the defensive end on the same side of the running back in a bluff blitz, just like this. Now what you can do is you can take your your uh, your corners or I'm sorry your safeties and if you want to you can put them in outside thirds you could also leave them in their quarter zone um, but if they motion out now you've got a little bit more safety in terms of in terms of how you're gonna defend and as you see here this coverage is one of my favorite in the entire game you're gonna see that if as long as you cover the underneath middle of the field the corner routes all that stuff they can do from compression is really really difficult to do so this is probably my favorite my number one uh my go-to defense for anything compression so tight off set um split close this is what i like to do against those sets because it really forces them to have to check down check down check down check down um let me give you another example bunch tight in actually is a compression formation believe it or not um so it's going to work very similarly to that uh, I did want to show one thing, and I don't know if I have the route that I'm looking for. I don't think I do, but this is a this mesh play is actually really good from compression this year because what you do is you take uh, the circle receiver, you put him on a streak, and then you basically have the seam wheel that comes underneath the streak. What I love about this offense or this defense is, especially that second version I showed you. The first version you can do this too, but what you'll see is because those cloud flats are zone dropped. They now have no reason, literally no reason, to go to the vertical. And even if you wanted to, I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. But um, I absolutely love these outside thirds to the safeties and the middle third to the slot corner this year on the wide side of the field. I think it's really good. But watch the running back on this. You're going to see here that the running back is going to go right into the cloud flat and they're going to take it away. So that's one of the main reasons why I like this defense for gun compression. I want to thank you for watching this video. And again, if you want to get my full 4-6 defensive guide, there is a link in the description. You can get the full game plan for just 15 bucks. It literally shows you how to stop every major passing formation that you're going to face in Madden. We also have great run defense in the guide. Nickel 35 alone is good run defense. We show you how to, we're actually going to be updating it with a phenomenal red zone update. So we're going to get red zone defense for you and try to give you defense for all of the situations that you're going to find yourself in as a player. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get that 4-6 defensive guide, there is a link to pick it up in the description of the video.